guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye! guys here's madame okay and today we will be painting an abstract painting using the watercolors we will need masking tape because we will create the different shapes with that will be done by simply applying pieces of masking tape and making sure that the composition will look good so you see i'm looking for some interesting um, shapes so this looks good to me this is a little bit too big so i will certainly cut it here like this so notice how many shapes do i have one two three four five six seven eight oh that's plenty so the next step will be to paint using the watercolors will create the base for my entire painting and what it means, well, I, after we finish applying watercolors, we will go with splashing some acrylic or tempera paint on the top, and I will show you that in a second. But let us start with application of watercolor paints. And I will go start with the, my orange color, which is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. Okay, guys, now we will start with the yellow color, and I will apply the yellow color in which section? Actually, I don't mind to have it next to the orange. I like it very much and then we can move to maybe the red so this is good and now the next color that I want to apply is my kind of purplish color so I have to look now for some other colors and I definitely need blue I really like blue to be placed next to the orange like this and then another color and the other color that I want to have is green. To look with how many shapes do we have left? One and two. So we have to think about colors that we will apply over there. So the color that I would propose to use would be another purple, but this time not a kind of maybe color, but really bluish purple. See, and why I'm saying bluish purple? Well, because a purple is a secondary color. And depends in which amount you mix red to the blue, it will be the purple on the blue side, bracket violet, or more on the red side, which will be more mauve color. See, this works even better with our yellow. And that's another pair of complementary colors. So if you want to, we can intensify those colors. Um, and I, I suggest that we do, we let them just dry a little bit and then we will go back and intensify them. So I will still intensify the colors and then I will move right away to splashing. But I, oh my goodness, look at this. We still have one shape that is not completed. And we will use a different green in this section. I think that's what we want to have. I will look for color. Hmm, that doesn't look so nice. Let's see, what about this color? Oh yeah, that's a better green. So we have to let it dry now, and once it dry, we will go with some splashes on it. Okay guys, we are moving to phase two. Here, I have the different um, tempera, you can use also acrylic paint if you want to, placed, and I have my brushes. Uh, this time we will be splashing the paint, so make sure that you have a shirt on you, otherwise, a paint shirt of course, otherwise you can get paint on yourself and we don't want to have it on the nice clothes. I also have those bottles of with paint from the Dollarama or Dollar Store and I will also try just to squish some paint on the top. So you see I will be very free with it, I want to have a really interesting effect so you can think about swirly lines and, and see. See one color is here, what will happen? So I used gold and I will also move with some of the silver. I really like silver, especially there where it comes to, to colors such as a blue. See on the green looks really good. See, I don't need to have too much. So you are deciding what you want to have where. And I think from my combination, color combination, I definitely want to use a little bit of this crazy, crazy pink and then very dark color, or maybe even black. Let's see, I have my black here on the brush and I will spray it, see, like this. 
like this. I want to get those darker patches, dots almost, in my painting because I have all those light colors and I think, or maybe even, see? Blobs, pushing the blobs, okay? It's like shoo, shoo, shoo. I think that would help the painting very, very much. I want to have it bright and happy, but at the same with the stronger colors. Notice now how nicely the colors in the background look like. They are the base for us. So you will have those beautiful shapes filled with different colors. What do you think about a little bit of the pink? So I want to use all those colors that you have. I mean, we will see. We want to try new things and have lots of lots of fun, right? That's the whole idea. And I see that this section is not filled. Why is it not? Look at this. Wow, big blob there. And maybe some of the white. Oh, not the right spot. But I like when we try. Okay, even when it doesn't happen. Oh, I think this pink has to come on the green a little bit more. And notice it's almost, almost the end with my colors. I barely have anything on it. So I certainly will come here with those beautiful splashes. The last ones. And guys, we let the painting dry. And I'm so curious and so excited to see it later on when this stuff will dry a little bit. Oh, my God. 